God, golf carts should be banned around here. Drivers must be 14 years of age or older. Golf carts can only be operated on designated roads. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Golf carts cannot exceed 20 miles per hour. Golf carts can only be operated sunrise to sunset. Golf carts are prohibited from being operated on sidewalks. <laughs> Golf carts must be equipped with efficient brakes, reliable steering apparatus, safe tires, a rear view mirror, and red reflector warning devices on both front and rear. Drivers can be arrested for a DUI on a golf cart. <laughs> sir, have you had anything to drink tonight? No, sir. Could uh, you please step out of the car? Can you uh, demonstrate to me how you can walk straight across this line? <laughs> so can you give me a brief background on uh, uh what you've done in the past? Absolutely. Uh, my name is Connor Akers. I'm a trooper with the Florida Highway Patrol. I've been employed with the Highway Patrol for about three and a half years now. Um, my background in law enforcement, I originally started in the field of corrections. I worked as a juvenile detention officer in the state of Indiana where I went to school. I went to Indiana University on a full ride track scholarship, but started as a juvenile detention officer, did that for about a year. Um, then I went into law enforcement, started with Florida Highway Patrol, um, went to the Patrol Academy from July 27th of 2014 to September 30th of 2014. My first duty assignment was Troop K Orlando, which would be the turnpike, as a normal road trooper. I did about two years as a road trooper, handling normal law enforcement calls, vehicle wrecks, um, homicides, burglaries, narcotics, anything of that nature. Um, after two years of being a road trooper, I started, um, I was awarded the position of a canine handler here in Jacksonville for Troop G. I've been a canine handler for about four and a half months. Um, I'm also a part of the Florida Highway Patrol SWAT team. I'm our SWAT sniper, our grenadier, less than lethal, um, NAV, which is uh, navigations, and um, one of our breachers. So that would be my background for the law enforcement. Okay. What is your opinion on the rules and regulations of golf carts in Fleming Island? Um, there's definitely rules and regulations in place, not only in Fleming Island, but here in the state of Florida. There is a, a chapter in the Florida State Statute, which is Chapter 316, is all traffic. A motor vehicle is considered anything that is self-propelled on two or more wheels, so a bicycle can be considered a motor vehicle. A golf carts considered a motor vehicle as well. So anything in the chapter of 316 is considered to be useful for any motor vehicle. Therefore, a golf cart would fall under that. So the Florida uh, statute book does have very strict laws on motor vehicles. Now, whether those laws are enforced or not, that's up to interpretation depending on, on, on the area. Here in Fleming Island, I can tell you that the motor vehicle laws for golf carts are not enforced at all. 
Do you feel that the golf cart rules are followed? No. Do you feel golf carts are dangerous when operated by a minor? Absolutely. Um, I personally have worked a golf cart fatality with a 13-year-old um, a 13-year-old white male. He was on a more high-powered golf cart, one that was powered off gas, doing roughly about 43 miles an hour. Um, he hit a parked pickup truck, ended up getting ejected through the golf cart window and hitting the rear window of the F-150. He did die on impact. So, um, And like I said, he was only 13 years old, so technically that's considered a minor uh, behind the wheel of a golf cart. So yes, um, children behind any sort of motor vehicle, i.e. golf cart, Anything that is powered two or more wheels um, is 100% a liability and very dangerous. Do you feel something should be changed about the rules or the way they are enforced? I wouldn't say that something needs to be changed about the rules. I would more say that they need to be enforced more strictly. Like I said, anything that a normal citizen day-to-day -day driving in their vehicle, any law or violation that they break, a law enforcement officer is going to stop them. And go with whatever corrective action that they go with, whether it's a warning or a citation, or if it's criminal, you know, you get into a whole different world. Well, technically, because the golf cart is considered a motor vehicle, I, in my law enforcement career, I can tell you that I've never stopped a golf cart. And I can tell you with most of probably, I'm, I'm not gonna give you a full 100%, because who knows, there might be one out there, but 99% of the guys aren't going out and, you know, conducting traffic stops on golf carts do because you know, the silly nature of it. Most people, most law enforcement officers will say, oh, it's a golf cart. Why am I going to go, so I'm going to waste my time on a golf cart. No, just, you know, no, just let it slide. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. Your son driving a golf cart around Eagle Harbor. Well, initially I was very uncomfortable with it and I was quite opposed to 14 and 15 year old children driving on main roads. After some practice with his father and with myself, he demonstrated the skills to be able to drive on the smaller roads, but we forbid him to drive on the main road until he had more practice. And um, now I'm fairly comfortable as long as he's obeying the rules and not messing around with his friends. Okay. We know that for a long time you were against golf carts. What made you change your mind in purchasing one? Yes, I was completely against golf carts. As a matter of fact, neither of Eric's sisters were ever allowed to drive one or ride on a golf cart until they were 16 years old and had a driver's license. And I don't know, maybe it was a really bad parenting moment. Maybe it's the third child syndrome, or maybe the fact that we thought Eric would use the golf cart to get to and from soccer practices which initially worked, but then he doesn't play soccer anymore. And so he really doesn't need the golf cart. But I think mostly it was a bad parenting moment. And um, I had some regrets to start with and some concerns, but he has demonstrated that he can safely drive the cart. And so far we've had no incidences. Has your opinion about golf carts changed since you bought one? No, not really. I feel like most kids shouldn't be driving on the public roads with the golf cart. I feel like there are a lot of kids that drive before they're even 14, which is the rule. And I feel like a lot of kids use the golf cart to just scoot around. They're not going from one place to another. They're just using it as an activity in and of itself. I see kids breaking rules, spinning donuts in the park and destroying the property. And I, um, feel like sometimes the kids just don't aren't aware of their surroundings and I'm concerned for their safety. Okay. Do you think your son operates a golf cart in accordance with all the rules? Uh, no, I don't. I think he does for the majority of it, the time, but I'm thinking there are occasions where he may not come to a complete stop or he may drive past sunrise or sunset and he shouldn't. And occasionally makes poor decisions like taking the golf cart out at night in the rain. What changes do you think should be made to the golf cart rules or the ways golf cart rules are enforced? 
I actually think there should be rules similar to that as driving a car. So I think kids should have to take a golf cart driving test, both written or verbal and um, actual. So they should have to go do a course and understand hand signals and understand uh, the rules of the road. Well, thank you for your time. You're very welcome.